What is up guys? Welcome back to Overdrive. Thank you guys for all your support. Shane and I are just doing something that we love, creating YouTube videos and I'm just so thankful that you guys are supporting us and watching our videos and yeah, just want to show some love to you guys. So guys, keep spreading the word, keep telling your friends and let's grow together. So today guys, I'm actually working with the S4. Um, we got a cold air intake for it and we're going to put it on uh, the S4 so we get some supercharger wine. We took out the Trans Am, took out the Audi, and I will show you the intake. So guys, the brand of the intake is Engine. Um, it's hanging up here. This is the heat shield, and this is um, the pipe. Um, so basically, guys, we have it taped up, and we have it primed right now because we bought it used um, for a good price, but the paint was peeling. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to paint it, and originally the pipe came black but what we're doing is painting it red so we have a nice red accents in the engine bay. Alright guys so as you can see here um, the car comes originally with these red accents, these red um, ignition coils. Um, we put the red supercharger badge on there so now this pipe right here um, is going to be all red here and then the cool part about this intake is we keep the original box so the filter you won't see the filter the filter will actually be inside the box still because basically um, they say for maximum performance you have to have it covered so no hot air from the engine goes in so yeah guys it's gonna look really neat and the cool part is that I like that you can keep it on the original box and uh, yeah so it's gonna look pretty good with the red pipe going to the motor and yeah the heat shield I showed you guys earlier, it basically fits right on top of here and it says engine on here so it shows nicely. Um, so that came originally silver but we're going to paint that black and then yeah, just basically we want our eyes to focus on the pipe that's red just to create some nice accent pieces in the engine bay. When we got it this pipe was all chipped, the black was all like peeling and chipped so that's why we decided to paint it. Um, and then we got um, a replacement filter because the filter was super dirty and uh, there was even if we cleaned it I don't think it would be good enough but um, we actually got a K&N filter to go on and yeah I'll show you guys that so we got this K&N filter and basically this as I said before um, this is gonna sit right inside this air box you're not gonna see it but for maximum performance they say it should be covered up the ratings of um, the intake uh, is super good and um, it basically gives you um, 11 more horsepower and 10 foot-pound of torque more. So, and it kind of makes the pedal feel a bit more touchy. Um, yeah, and a quicker throttle response. And the best part is we get more supercharger wine. So when painting hot areas of the car, um, you got to make sure you get um, high temperature paint. So we bought this from Canadian Tire and basically, yeah, it's engine paint. Um, yeah, so it should go on good and... We'll get to the painting. Alright guys, I did not film um, the coats of me painting this, but um, it came out really well. Um, I Basically I did two light coats and then two um, medium thick coats. Um, so it came out really well. Everywhere is nice and even. Um, it looks really good and I can't wait to install this on the Audi. The heat shield also came out really good um, I think my dad my dad painted this one and I think he did two to three um, coats of it um, it's flat black it's not gloss um, yeah and it came out really well so guys this is how everything came out it came out beautiful this is when um, I took out the the green tape and it look, just looks so good it came out perfectly what is up guys it is the next morning um, now that it, all the parts are painted it is time to install the intake on the S4. So let's get to it. So the first step I'm going to do, I'm going to take out this uh, guard right here by taking out these four T25 screws. So after you take out those four T25 screws, there's these little clips down here that just pop out and then it, the guard comes right out. 
The next step guys, we're gonna remove these two T25 screws. This is where all the air is coming in, so we're gonna take it out. Okay guys, so there is seven T25 screws that we need to take out for the air box. Uh, right here, one, two, three, four, five. And then six is down here, and seven's on the other side. This will give us access um, to the filter because it's taking out the air box. All right guys, so the next step that we're gonna do, we're gonna loosen these two clamps, one here and one here, just so we can slide this pipe further back because it flexes here. Um, this will make the air box come loose. So there's a vacuum line right here that's connected to uh, the, ho the pipe. Um, so we're gonna take out these two clips right here just to take the vacuum line away from the pipe. All right guys, so when you're pulling out the air box, you'll find the secondary air pump hose that's connected to the air box. So we're just gonna have to disconnect that using this clip right here. So just squeeze and wiggle. All right guys, so there's two options you can install this intake. The first option is having uh, the filter exposed like this or the section second option is the way engine is recommended They say to use the stock air box and then it will cover up the filter for maximum airflow and this way with using the Original air box there will be less heat going to the filter. Alright guys, so the top of the pipe There's a vacuum line that you have to disconnect um, Just disconnect that and then you can remove this pipe after All right guys, so right now we're just test fitting and we're deciding if we want to run this vacuum line over the pipe or under the pipe. We're going to go with under the pipe because it looks more neater and um, this is a coupler that it comes with when you buy the engine intake so it, it goes up to the throttle body. All right guys, so to lock this pipe in place we put a nut on top just to make it um, from not moving and then we connected the, the filter on using this clamp and now we'll put the heat shield on. Alright guys, everything is back on. Um, I didn't record us putting it back on because pretty much you have to re reverse the process of what we did when we took it off. And uh, I just want to surprise you guys with the reveal. So let's get to it. Guys, I hope you love the way this looks. This thing looks insane. I'm so happy that we went with uh, the red color because we were gonna paint it black because it originally was black. But I just think when you pop the hood, um, all your eyes just go to the red and I think it really pops and looks good. Now the best part you guys have been waiting for, the sound. I'll start it up and give you guys a couple red. <laughs> What is up guys, it is about a week later now 
and um, I just been driving the car for about a week now and I've been enjoying the intake and I just want to give you guys like um, a proper review an honest review on the intake how it performs how I like it so guys the best thing I enjoy from the intake is obviously the supercharger noise it makes it great noise around two to three thousand rpm as soon as you get above that it starts to whine a little bit more and it just sounds great and I've I've also noticed um, better throttle response which is which is really good and this 0 to 60 time actually dropped because of the intake so um, normally it's around 4.2 seconds and we got it to around 3.9 to 4 seconds um, but yeah I'm close to 3.9 seconds and uh, yeah so I highly recommend this intake um, especially if you have an S4 I recommend an intake and get that supercharger wine. I'm gonna try and see if you guys can hear the supercharger wine. Um, I'll try and get it going. Um, hopefully the camera can pick it up. All right guys, I just stopped by at Shane's house. There he is. So I'm gonna end the video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed this intake. Obviously, guys, I said before, I recommend this intake for sure. Uh, the car's super fun to drive, and yeah, guys, definitely get an intake for your S4. I'll see you guys in the next video. I got a couple more things coming for the S4. A couple small things. Um, I'll show them in the next videos. Take it easy.